Thank you. Thank you, Cristiano, and welcome to everybody to our museum event. Tonight, we are about to unveil the next evolution from Pista GP. It's called Pista GPR, and Pista GPR is the MotoGP helmet. It has been developed with MotoGP riders, and it has been developed for MotoGP riders. And anything that we've done for MotoGP and for top racing has been transferred to the market. So racing enthusiasts all around the world can now enjoy the same amount of technology that this guy enjoy. And you know, this is the last product developed under AGV Extreme Standards. In 2007, when Dainese acquired AGV, it started a new process, a new development process. So it, called, it developed a new development protocol whose target was to develop the highest safe helmet <coughs> in the world. And especially helmet that exceeds safety in free area, protection, performance, and comfort. So let's start from protection, for example. When we look at protection, Pista GPR shares the same shell, the same technology than Pista GP. European standards ask manufacturers to test helmet at 7.5 meter per second impact. It means that the force is 7.5 meter per second. We develop helmets that are tested at 8.5. It's so much more energy that the helmet is able to sustain. But when we do this, we don't do at the expense of volume. So thanks to four shell and 40 PS sizes in for, the, for different sizes, we can get a very compact uh, helmet around your head. So we don't increase the volume. On the same way, we do not increase light weight. So we don't do safety at the expense of weight because everything in the helmet is done in pure carbon shell. We don't just use the external layer of carbon and everything else is fiber. The whole thing is carbon. Visibility. Pista GP is known the helmet that moved like it, it was going to a Pista GP it was going like from TV from TV to cinema. That was what riders used to tell us. It offered 85 degrees vertical view and 190 horizontal view. That's 15 degrees more visibility when you're down in racing position than most industry standards. It's a lot of information when you're riding. 190 degrees, it means the full human body capability, visibility is allowed by the helmet. Whether you are riding on the street or whether you are racing, you just want to know what happens outside your, on your sides. That's an information that you want to have. And everything is done in class optic one, which is the same requirement that we have for human glasses. It means no glares, no distortion, a crystal clear view. And Pista GPR, we're taking this concept and we're adding something very, very important. In AGV, the visor is not just a tool to see. It's also something to protect. Because in racing, we learned so many times that the visor, during an impact, it might touch something, so it crack, it can open, or it can actually be released, so go, go away from the helmet, leaving the face exposed to the 20 object. Uh, for this reason, we introduced in Pista GPR a five millimeter visor. That's a shield, it's not a visor. It's locking, has a central lock, which we know from Pista GP is the best way to position a lock. It has metal visor mechanism. The whole structure, the five millimeter visor, the metal mechanism, and the lock in front will make sure that it's very solid in case of impact. Not only we work on the solidity so in order to make sure that this is safe, but we also take a very long project to ensure that we get the best anti-fog performance on our helmet. So number one thing we did is introduce race-free max pin lock visor. It's, uh, it's featuring pin locks 120, so it's the highest anti-fog technology from pin lock. And we work closely with pin lock to make sure that we get all the amount of visibility that we need on our helmets. So a lot of pin lock helmets, they cannot limit the visibility. You see the hedge, you, you don't really see the through the entire visor. We didn't want this. So we partnered with pin lock to make sure that this is the effect that you get. 
It's a full visibility with, with the anti-fog technology that's offered by Pinlook. Ventilation. Every racer, every rider actually knows how ventilation is important. Pista GP represented 195% more ventilation than the previous AGV generation. Now we're taking the concept of ventilation and we're doing something super innovative. We're completely evolving it. For the first time, we're taking ventilation outside the helmet. Why are we doing this? Because let's have an example. Let's start from Pista GP. This is what happened on Pista GP, which again, it was a very vented helmet. If you see, some air gets through the ventilation, some air bounces on the, sh on the shell and doesn't get through the helmet. Thanks to the new fins which we develop on Pista GPR, we collect so much more air and we channel it inside the helmet. We're not doing this on the front, just on the front, but we're also doing here on the back for a simple physical law, which is called Venturi effect. If you create more pressure here, you create what is so-called a positive Venturi effect. In simple ways, you, you increase the speed of air coming to the inside the helmet. More speed, higher speed of air means more air coming inside the helmet. More air coming inside the helmet, it means a much cooler helmet. So the, it's, a, it's a something that you can really feel when you ride with Pista GPR. Then have a look at the visor. We're not just directing the air in the in on the face of the rider, but we're also channeling some air to the visor. Why are we doing this? Because this prevents fog creation. But in Pista GP, this was done just on the center side, which was already a lot of air. But now on Pista GPR, we are spreading through the entire surface of the visor. This, together with the pinlock technology, and together with the amount of air we're coming inside the helmet, really make sure that in the, even in the hardest condition, it's very difficult for the helmet to create any fog. Vents. As Pista GP, Pista GPR has metal vents. Well, from a technical point of view, this is a big challenge because vents weigh so much more than plastic, which is what you find always on the industry standard, is plastic vents. So to make a lightweight helmet with metal vents, wow, that's a challenge. Why do we do this? Because vents are holes, and holes do not protect. So our riders are asking us, give us more, vi more ventilation. So we need to make large air intakes. And to do that, but to do it in a safe way, we're making metal. So the metal air intakes, together with the carbon shares, in ensure us and the solidity and the impact protection that we want to achieve on AGV extreme standards helmets. Aerodynamics. Pista GP was the first helmet that started to talk about dynamic weight, so how the helmet performs into the airs. And it significantly, it was recognized as the most stable helmet, even in the hardest condition, as the Isle of Man, where you get so much air from different locations. Now we're taking this concept, we're taking aerodynamics, and we're taking to the next generation on Pista GPR by introducing B-Plano spoiler technology. Beside Be Beautiful, it's a double wing spoiler, which set another benchmark. From already a very aerodynamic helmet, we have a 4% aerodynamic increase. That's a significant <laughs> amount of aerodynamics increase. And riders told us that you can really feel this, this improvement even when you're riding. So we have a lot of MotoGP, a lot of racing technology on the outside of the helmet. But we have a saying on the inside. We completely restructure the interiors of the helmet. And now racers all around the world will exactly feel what our riders in MotoGP have. It's a super briefable, super stretch, and very gentle interiors. Very vented in order to support the hardest effort when you're racing. Getting inside a race helmet has never been that easy. I'll, I invite you to test it afterwards when we're going let to you, let, you, let you see the products. And on top of that, we're making these very, very, very vented. On the inside, we also added a safety cheek release. That's for rescue services in the, well, in the case of an accident, rescue services, medical services, to release the cheek so they can take away the helmet without creating any pressure to the head. The amazing thing is that we did in a way, which is a pattern, that has almost no weight increase. 
So you get the benefit of a safety release system, but you have no weight increase. So overall, we did everything that comes from, we, we really support racers all around the world with the same technology that we have in MotoGP. But there's one more thing which Pista GPR will have, and it looks at consistent performance. R racers, top racers, you, you hydrates during the ridings because they know that's important to maintain the performance and fight for the target. So on Pista GPR, we are introducing the first helmet with an integrated hydration system. It means that it's riding the helmet, it's inside the EPS, so you really don't feel it there, but it's there to hydrate when you want it. You just have to unrelease it. Dynasa leather suit have an hydration system in the hump, so you simply connect it. If you just don't want to use it, you can leave it as it is in the picture on the hooks, or just connect it back again. On the front, it's where you, eat, where you drink yourself, and you can, again, if you want to drink, you just drink, or if, you, if one day you're riding without the hydration system, you just release the valve. So it's there, and you can just decide whether you want to use it or you don't want to use it. So overall, we're adding a lot of extra features on Pista GPR, and it's nice, significant features. And what is even more amazing, that this technology, 5 millimeter visor, 8.5 millimeter tested impact shells, metal intakes, it just come all this together at 1,350 uh, 1, grams, which is an amazing weight, given this amount of safety. And for a brand that has the Italian flag on its logo, it's obviously made in Italy. With this, this was Pista GPR, the MotoGP helmet. I'd like now to leave the stage to my colleague, David Sheridan, who will talk us about the suits. Thank you so much.